After the fire that destroyed the Old South Barracks, Norwich University relocated to Northfield, Vermont. By 1868, parts of the new Jackman Hall were ready and classes were held there even as construction continued on the building. For some time, Jackman Hall would serve as barracks, classroom, and the home of Theta Chi fraternity. In 1868, Arthur Chase purchased and assumed editorship of the Claremont, New Hampshire newspaper, The National Eagle. Chase's editorials would focus on, quote, principles and practices which conduce the highest good for the greatest number. After three years of newspaper work, Chase's health, which had never been robust, began to deteriorate. On the advice of his physician, he retired to a farm he had purchased on the outskirts of town, but he continued to be very involved in civic affairs. His interest in Theta Chi also continued, as evidenced by his visits and letters to the chapter throughout his entire life. In 1873, the finances of Norwich University were in a desperate condition. Charles Dole, class of 1869 and a member of Theta Chi, was serving as a professor at that time. Rising to meet the needs of his alma mater, Dole met all of the university's financial obligations out of his own pocket at great personal loss. This action likely saved both Norwich University as well as Theta Chi. 1873 also saw several developments at the Alpha Chapter. During the year, the offices of treasurer and librarian were added. The chapter also voted to have a group picture taken for, quote, reasons known to themselves. By 1880, a new engraving was made for the Theta Chi coat of arms. It retained a military nature and continued Freeman's suggestions by emphasizing the badge. In 1881, the 25th anniversary year of Theta Chi, Brother Henry Martin Jones graduated from Norwich University. The student body was reduced to a dozen men and Theta Chi found itself with one active member, this man, James Michael Holland. Holland carefully took possession of all the fraternity belongings, including the ritual and constitution of Theta Chi. Holland may have believed it was hopeless to try to recruit new members to a fraternity with just one member and remained silent as to the condition of Theta Chi. Fortunately for Theta Chi, Phil Sheridan Randall enrolled in Norwich during the autumn of 1881. Randall, along with all six of Norwich's other incoming freshmen, were given bids to join the university's other fraternity, Alpha Sigma Pi. Randall knew of Theta Chi and its distinguished alumni and set out to convince Holland that he should be allowed to join the fraternity. Randall's friend and roommate, Henry Hersey, was another freshman cadet. Hersey had distinguished himself early at Norwich by dealing with a campus bully during the first days of the semester and was not keen on joining Theta Chi's rival. Hersey agreed with Randall and the two freshmen approached Holland. Randall and Hersey were initiated by James Michael Holland and Professor Charles Dole along with other local alumnus members in the Theta Chi room in Jackman Hall. From this point on, Theta Chi flourished at Norwich. Hersey went on to become a major in the U.S. Army serving with Theodore Roosevelt's Rough Riders. Randall would serve as a judge in Minnesota and his involvement in Theta Chi continued through his entire life. At one point, Randall was the oldest living member of Theta Chi. He died in 1960 at the age of 94. Arthur Chase died suddenly on November 20, 1888. He was 53 years old and survived by his wife and four children. This resolution of the Alpha Chapter commemorates Chase and reads in part, with the death of our beloved brother, Arthur Chase, the mystic circle of Theta Chi has again been broken and one of her brightest lights extinguished. His grandson, Dr. Eugene P. Chase, was a professor at Lafayette College and also a member of Theta Chi. In the late 1880s, Professor Dole was serving in the Vermont State Legislature. Under his guidance, Theta Chi fraternity was formally incorporated under the laws of Vermont on November 22, 1888, 
Unfortunately, this was just two days after the death of Arthur Chase. In 1890, the Alpha Chapter acquired its first true chapter house just steps away from the campus of Norwich University. While cadets were required to live in the barracks, the house served as a location for meetings, study, and socializing. Theta Chi's Alpha Chapter continued to prosper just before the turn of the century, as this 1898 photograph of the chapter will attest. However, a strong anti-expansion sentiment existed among the members, and the dream of Frederick Norton Freeman and Arthur Chase for a truly national fraternity had not yet been realized. In 1901, Brother Park Valentine Perkins left Norwich University and transferred to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Perkins wanted to expand Theta Chi to MIT, and soon he had gathered around him a group of friends who petitioned the Alpha Chapter for a charter. The Alpha Chapter denied the MIT group's first two petitions. However, the group soon gained the support and assistance of local alumnus members E. Wesson Clark and J. Albert Holmes. Holmes later became the first national president of Theta Chi. Alpha finally agreed to expand on the third petition and the Beta Chapter was installed on December 13, 1902 marking the beginning of Theta Chi as a national fraternity. This photograph shows some of the members from both chapters on the day after the installation. By the early part of the 20th century, a new coat of arms had been created. All vestiges of a military character had fallen away and the appearance became more academic. This version was used for about three years until an early version of the current coat of arms came into existence. During the 75th Anniversary Convention in 1931, this monument commemorating the founding of Theta Chi Fraternity was dedicated near the site of the Old South Barracks in Norwich, Vermont. The idea and plan of Frederick Norton Freeman and Arthur Chase has been realized and perfected. This union of men working together is accomplishing more and greater things than any single member. And because the mutual assistance to one another is of value, the men of Theta Chi fraternity continue to seek the bonds of fellowship which bind man to man.